Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. I hope you're doing okay. Today we're talking about Jess Fam and the absolute crazy drama that is exploding in her life. I'm entirely convinced <laughs> that this shit's made up for views. Jess Fam and all the other family vloggers channels view counts are like... <laughs> so they have to create shit. They have to create drama. They have to do all this kind of stuff. But what Jess Fam did was kind of nasty. And it's, I think you guys know, it's with the Janelle situation, which I had no idea really about the situation until I spoke to Janelle, which I really had no idea about. So someone had sent me this live that said, you need to go through it. Um, and then we'll talk about what the next steps are after this video. So let's go. Okay, so Jess Fam is a dumpster fire. That's a nice way of putting who Jess Fam really is in real life. She is someone to not look up to. She is a terrible influence. She is garbage at everything. And she has a sign on her living room wall of her name. She also burns every bridge of every friend that she's ever had in her life because Jessica is very impulsive. She makes t crazy snap decisions. She probably fights a lot, although she doesn't like confrontation, so I could be wrong about that. Um, but she's very just gross in all ways. Like, there's just no redeeming qualities I've ever seen about Jess. None whatsoever. And just like the Maya Knight situation, I, I, I'm convinced that people follow her because it's like, it's the trash tribe. People attract their tribe. And so people that follow Jess fam, Maya Knight, and all these bad moms... That's who they attract. They attract like-minded people who want to know that it's okay to be trash. Jess is trash. I went over her private Facebook group messages the other day, and it's even more trashy than you think. And now, after knowing what I know now a little bit, and I'll tell you a bit more about the end of the video, um, wow, like this shit just keeps getting worse. Remember when her and Natalia berated some teenagers? That's trashy. You know, talking about doing your, th you're having your threesomes and all that kind of stuff and your sexual proclivities online for your kids and their friends to find. That's trashy. Yeah. Lying about getting nearly murdered in Nashville. That's trashy. It is. You know, it's just, it's trashy. So this video is really long. So I'm only going to cut to the parts where she's talking and we'll see what she's doing. But basically what she's doing here for no reason whatsoever is throwing her ex-best friend Janelle under the bus. Janelle has known her since middle school, has been friends with her since high school, but has known her since middle school. So it's not like some flash in the pan. Janelle has been in there since day one. Now, not saying that Janelle's completely right in all this. Nobody is without blame in any situation, right? Especially if you live in toxic situations like Jess, if you grew up like that, and if you if you live the life that she's so toxic. So, but what Jess is doing is dangerous because Janelle isn't an influencer. She's not a creator, nothing like that. She, she just wanted her to be one, but she didn't do it. So Jess using her massive platform to come after a civilian, not cool. So let's do it. This is talking about Janelle are not, see I'm talking too much. Okay. 30 shots for turning 30. I think no. I vote no on that one, guys. I don't think that <laughs> Yeah, do it. I want you to do it. I'd love for you to do it. Please do it. End well. I really don't think that would end well. <laughs> you can see the comments floating by and she's reading the comments and she's only gonna answer the ones that she wants to answer. So she reads every single comment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. She said she caused your depression, but I know in my heart that's not true. A toxic lifestyle that didn't align, which is fine. So she's saying Janelle had a toxic lifestyle that did not align with me. I'm, I'm just lining up all the things that Jess is saying just because we need to have it here. We need to say it. So I'm not going to... I'm not trying not to rebut. I might, but so she's saying that Janelle has a toxic lifestyle that doesn't align with Jess's toxic lifestyle. Okay. So Janelle must be really bad if, if it doesn't align with your lifestyle, which is full of exploitation, sexual escapades, alcoholism, and just craziness. So, whoa, must be bad. So we should find out. She felt replaced, which I'm just going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to say something and I hope that people, say it. Go right, say. people see this. People tried to say, because she posted something about being replaced, and people were like, oh, it's Talia. It was not Talia. It was with Roslyn. And she's right. So I'm just going to say that. But Talia is also gross, so let's be real. And she had some 
<clears throat> things going on. And again, I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to do any of that. But if you know, you know. You just said Rosalind's name. And it, it, do you guys find it kind of odd that everybody in Jesse's like sphere of influence has a YouTube channel? Oh, and I tried to be there for her and she got involved with someone who was a deadbeat dad and made very poor life choices. And I was like the number one person. Not Jess fam calling someone out for making poor life choices. Three divorces or two divorces, three baby daddies, four kids, five kids, three baby daddies and a partridge in a pear tree. Not Jess fam calling out toxic behavior in someone else, a toxic baby daddy. Not Jess fam. You gotta be kidding me right now. Do you listen to yourself after you post these things, Jess? You're like, oh shit, man. Yeah, that was, I was like, I'm a flaming toxic hypocrite here. There, there's a lot. There's just a lot. And so it's like, oh, oh is there? she wasn't there for me when I was going through shit. It's like, I got receipts. So. Okay. You're going to put those receipts out because again, she's not a creator. This isn't, you're not coming after another creator. Like I'm coming after you. That's different. You're, you're public on here, Jess. Your shit's available for fair fair use that's just how this works but she's not so what are you doing here what what is your end game what is your goal for for putting out tea on someone who's not on the internet that's against youtube's terms of service by the way i don't know if you knew that but it is just 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 saying there, she lost she didn't lose me she lost everyone in her life and i think that says a lot more about her than it does about what including her daughter and her mom. So holy shit. Did she just say that she lost everybody, including her daughter and her mom. So that's not me. It's her. She's the one. Take that in for a second. Take away just Fem's fame and take away all the shit. Why would you ever say that about anybody? Especially someone that you were best friends with. Is there no decent humanity left inside of your heart whatsoever? None? Like, I know I'm a vitriolic douchebag, but I have a reason. I have an end game. I have an end goal, and you guys know it. But that, what is your end game for saying something like that? To just throw it into the bus? To just say, she's bad. She's, she lost everybody because she's a bitch. What was the point of that? I thought Jess Ham couldn't get ickier. Wrong. I'm always wrong about these people. And there's more. Well, she's got friends in there saying, hey, don't say anything. Stop saying shit. I'm sure there's more. I mean, she was drinking and driving. She got pulled over. Her daughter. Not Jess Fam calling out someone breaking the law. While Jess Fam was encouraging someone to break into her ex's girl that he's cheating on with car and pour sugar into the gas tank. Wear gloves, she says. Be careful. Ha <laughs> ha, so funny. Let me know how it goes. Really? Oh my gosh. It was like my child. But the lack of supervision got out of control to the point where I didn't want my daughter around that. And I. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Not just fam saying that the lack of supervision was worrying her. Not just fam, the one whose kid jumped into a pool and almost cracked his head open on the back of the hot tub wall. Not just fam uses cameras to like, what happened? Let me take a look. Where the basketball net almost crushed her, her kid's neck. Not just fam. Lack of supervision? You've got to be kidding me right now. You use his cameras to watch your kids so she can check it later. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh my God. I think anyone on TikTok knows what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, she's really going in. Alexis Scalis says, it makes me sad for her daughter and Lilia. This is my, these comments like Mallory Rose writes, I knew something fishy was going on. The whole world that is in my, you know, people who follow me too, people who follow these people, they're always like, as soon as they say something they don't like, they'll go to the other channels or go somewhere else and be like, I knew there was something wrong with him. I knew he was a misogynist. And then I'll go like, look at the comments that they wrote on my page. Like, I love you. And they'd say the same thing I'd say. Oh, those comments bug me the most. Yeah, her daughter's with her mom, and she'll just visit. Not your f business. This is none of your business to be sharing with the internet. It is Janelle's business, who is not an influencer, who's not out in the public. What the f 
wrong with you, Jess fam? Occasionally. Oh my gosh. I knew something fishy was going on. Yeah, I think I... I'm just gonna say it. It's like, sh okay. yeah, I don't know. There's... I didn't want to say it, but I think it needs to be said. So what, here's what, I'm just going to say it. I didn't want to say it, but it needs to be said. And then you didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Multiple car accidents. I, I mean, th okay. there was a lot and I don't, yeah, the TikToks. It, that's what I'm saying. If you know, you know. I don't know. And it was sad. And but it, I'm going to know. It was really hard for me. And she had a lot going on in her life, but I did too. Oh, okay, let's compare the a lot going on in each other's lives. You're a family vlogger who puts a camera on your ass every day. You don't have a lot going on in your life. Your life is glorious compared to other people who actually do real work. Who have to, you know, nurses and things like that. People who actually work for a living. You don't have a lot going on in your life. You're shit balls. Your life is shit. Your life is, again... She's like, well, she was having problems. So was I. Jess always does this. Remember when she was berating the teenagers about the COVID situation? Like, well, I know people who died. And then she didn't come out and say who it was. She always puts herself in a position where if you have something going wrong, she's like that person who's like, oh, me too. But mine's worse. She always one-ups people no matter what, good or bad. Oh, you, you know, your grandma died of cancer. So did mine. My grandma just died too, but died more. Like, this is Jess Fam in a nutshell. I lost a, someone who was... The same month that she says that I fell off the face of the earth to her was the same month that I lost my Grammy. And then it was just like, oh, so I know it is sad. What? Okay. So you're saying that your hurt is more than hers. So yours, what you're showing, what you're telling me is that your hurt should have overshadowed everybody else's things are going on. And she's like, well, she didn't even take that into consideration that my hurt was more than her hurt. Oh my God. What a selfish, disgusting person. It, it really is sad. And I, I mean, I wish nothing but the best for her. I really. Do you? Why are you going to say this phrase? And I'm going to save this effing phrase. I wish nothing but the best for her. Do you? While you're giving away all of her secrets on the internet, you but you wish, is that wishing good for somebody? You have got to be kidding me. Do you, listen to the words. Think, this just sh proves to me that Jess has no functioning brain. Yeah. But she just, I mean, she... Look at the comments. That's very traumatic. He lived a completely different life than I did, which was fine. And I was cool with just like separating and doing our own thing. I think that's okay. That's so fine to like go off and, um, what did she say when, okay, let's just, I guess we're gonna talk about this. What did she mean when she said you wouldn't allow her over? I, she worked on the front lines of COVID mm -hmm. and that's going to have drama, right? Personally. Why? Why is it going to have drama? She's so working in the front line of COVID, helping COVID patients. So what's the drama there? How I handle it is very different than any, anyone else can handle it. But my family is very, very crazy about it. And so... And Are you? Your family's very crazy about COVID? And then you go unmasked in a subway in New York, you get COVID from traveling all over? Are you kidding me? Jess, if, if, if in two seconds it can be debunked what you just said, don't say the thing. You're wrong. You are not crazy serious about it. And we have video proof of you not being crazy serious about it, you liar. The beginning, she refused to get the vaccine. She was working on the front lines. And so That's at the beginning. Lots of people, I was hesitant to get it too at the beginning. I just wanted to kind of like give it a couple of weeks just to see that, you know, a thousand people didn't drop dead from it. That's okay. You're allowed to be that way with a vaccine that's new. I got vaccinated and I'm pro-vaccine, but I waited a little bit. That's a little, there's, oh, there's, you know, even if you're pro everything, it's okay to be a little bit hesitant for something at the beginning. That's, you should never be called out for that. Being hesitant for your own health, that's okay. So that was like kind of the thing that started it. Um, but by the way, everybody, Janelle is vaccinated. Um, and then I left it at that because I didn't want to spill all her tea. Like I, Then, but now you are? That, that's not my thing to put out there. It, <laughs> it's not my thing to put out there, but here, now it's my thing to put out there. Okay. I, I, I'm I, I'm rarely at a loss what to say. I, I have no idea what to say to that. I just... <laughs> and so I left it at that. And I'm like, you know what? No one needs to know anything more than that. And I'm cool with it. Until just now. That. Until now. Okay, we got it. And, um... 
Oh, and then Laura said, you're not cool with people who aren't vaccinated? And then someone's like, oof, she doesn't strike me as any vaccine. She's not. She's vaccinated. Listen, pay attention. No. This is, not, this is not nothing to do with people fucking being vaccinated or not. It has nothing to do with it. But in the- Well, it sort of does. Because you just said you cut out of your life because she wasn't vaccinated. So... I call bullshit. The very beginning of the pandemic. Beginning of pandemic. My family had strong opinions about it. Did, did I? Not really. Okay. So you're throwing your family under the bus here. Oh, I cut her out of my life because my family wanted me to. But I didn't care. Really? You just threw your family under the bus for making a decision you made. Wow, you just keep getting really cool. Jess fam, you're like, can you be your friend and shit? I don't really give a fuck. But I live with older people who do have strong opinions. And so at first it was kind of messy. You're a flaming ass hypocrite. If you, you just said that people in your family take this so dead seriously. And you've been to Disney like eight times during this pandemic. You went to New York unmasked. You traveled all over the U.S. during a pandemic. And you're take it seriously? If you are actually telling truth and you're not, we know that. Then you would have just stayed home. Because that's what people who take this seriously did during the pandemic. They, took, they stayed home. They didn't travel over the world. So I don't believe you. And no, nobody else does either. Because we can call you out Every single time for every one of your lies. But anyway, that was a very small percentage of it. That that was only just like the front. My, my point with that is that that was what I masked it as because I didn't think that it needed to. This filter's killing me. Does it change your nose? To be more. I, I didn't think it needed to be explained more when in reality, there was a lot going on behind the scenes. So that added on to it. I don't give a fuck about being. Don't vaccinate. Fine. Do you, boo. I love you still. Except, no, you don't. You cut her out of your life for not being vaccinated. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. No, I'm good. Just do you, boo. And the fact that you're saying, do you, boo. Hmm. I don't like you. But my reality was that I, you know, anyway, that, that part is irrelevant. It has, is it? It doesn't really have okay. anything to do with well, it. Well, it does. But, you, but why'd you say it then? I would call her. I would text her. I'd meet up with her. I met up with her at Chevy's for five hours. Oh, you're so amazing. Would you like a cookie or a ribbon or a trophy of some kind that you met up with your best friend for 15 years for a few hours? You're so, you're like Mother Teresa and stuff. Like you just, you're on the same level. Maybe the Catholic Church could saint you. And talk to her about all of this. And all of a sudden I went on a tr- on a trip and she wasn't invited. And I used to pay for her. I would invite her and her daughter on trips with us and pay for all of it. Why would you say this? Why? What difference does it make? You're wealthy. That's what, if I was wealthy, I would pay for my friends' trips too. But you don't have to tell everybody. You're virtue signaling here. And as soon as I stopped doing that, she hated me. And it was just like... I hope that's not true. I don't know. Jess, your feelings are veiled. I'm not even reading your comments. I feel like I should. <clears throat> Is she talking about the girl who just moved from Hawaii? No. I love Talia. <laughs> and for people to say, oh, to- like, Talia, she fucking has nothing to do with this. End of the day, she just lives a completely different life than I do. My life is consumed with my job and my kids. Your job is your kids and filming them for vlog content. Your job is vlogging. I know everybody's like, it's a job you can't get Yeah, that's, I guess, you know, the... Yes, but no, for real. It's not a real job. It's just, it's real lucky. You got won the lottery. And she had other priorities. And so we just went on different paths and you can. Other priorities. I can't wait to find out what those other priorities were. Something tells me has to do with all these YouTube channels that all her friends do. Maybe Janelle didn't want to do a YouTube channel. There was an occasion that happened at her daughter's birthday party where, and this was kind of the end for me, not the end. It wasn't the physical end, but and unfortunately how we were raising our kids was so different. And at her daughter's birthday party, I, I brought Lilia over cause they were best friends. I fucking really went full. Yeah, you did. They were best. Her, her daughter and Janelle's daughter remember the word she said we're best friends she's gonna burn a bridge and her daughter is gonna lose her best friend her daughter it just goes to show that jess doesn't give a shit about anybody but herself 
<laughs> I really said full send, huh? Um, she, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, it was one of the last times that Lilia hung out with her. Um, Lilia came over to me and she was extremely uncomfortable. And she talked about how. This is not. Look, you want to talk about Janelle? Fine, whatever, right? But your kids, you're going to bring your kids into this shit? Again, trash. You are trash for doing this. Her daughter and the whole group of friends were talking about how they all smoke and they take their parents' cigarettes. And this is at her 10th birthday party. Why are you ratting out a 10 year old on the internet? This is not your kid to be talking about. You have a huge platform, and now Janelle's kid is now in your world of tea, of drama, of vitriol. Who cares what she's doing? It's not your kid to be giving this information out. Are you serious? <laughs> and you're laughing about it? What are you laughing about? No, oh, her kid steals cigarettes, and her kid's really terrible, so I don't want Lily hanging out with her anymore. She's a terrible influence. You have got to be kidding me about the influence thing. Jess, you are worse in so many ways. Just because you might not smoke cigarettes, okay? You are like debaucherous and you have children and you drink like a fish. So you have your problems too. Not saying that Janelle might not be without her problems or the kids or whatever, but are you just, are you sitting there really just trying to be above everybody right now with your filter like that? Okay. Okay. This is getting so, gross. I feel sick. Anyway, my whole point with this is that there's more and I'm not perfect. I'm fucking so far from it. Like, well, that's the understatement of the century. I'm, I could have been a better friend. I'm sure. But, <laughs> but let's just, we're not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about all her bad things. I'm just like, I could have been better, but let's move on. Let's move on. You know what? If you're actually going to be real about this, you know what? Here's some things that I got wrong. I'd like to tell those to you guys because, you know, it's only fair. Here's some shit I think I got wrong and I'm going to be better going forward. But no, you just got some stuff wrong. Let's move on. The point is, is that there's just so much more behind it. And it's not as simple of just. She left me when I needed her. Like. What? What about your daughter who needs you? Oh, my God. Is she saying this right now? And she look at her face. She's just loving this. Guys, this is not a person that you should be following and look at all these people in here just laughing it up with their emojis soaking up the tea just enjoying this she loves this it's like you should be your dad right now are you judging someone else's parenting while being the parent that you are get just fam damn i'm gonna get shit for that i'm so sorry fucking i didn't even get the liquid courage <laughs> so you're saying you should get drunk and then tell spill the beans okay you just said it and you're disgusting you are nasty. Okay, I'm done. There's no, you're not. There's freaking 20 minutes left. More. I'm just, that's enough. That's enough. I'm, my point is, is that there's more to it. And it's not just, I think that if you know, you know. And if you look into it, if you. Hey, look at the comments. I feel like I'm in a sleepover. This is so, the tea is hot. I don't even think I needed to explain it really because. Then why did you? Why did you explain it? It was already out there. Like you could tell. If you know, you know. And Stop I wish saying you know, you know, we don't know nothing but the best, nothing but the best for her. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, again, I can't make this shit up. I'm going to spill tea on her. I'm going to call out her young kid for smoking. I'm going to say you your daughter needs you. You're a bad, terrible mother. All these terrible things about she's speaking about Janelle, but Hey girl, bless your heart. I wish nothing but the best for you. That is what I'm hearing here. That is the most toxic, disgusting type of behavior. Everybody hates that. Like, and it's just, ugh, when you hear the thing, but I wish nothing but the best, except for I hate you and I'm going to tell everybody all your dirty secrets. But the best to you. <laughs> Ding. I really do. And I hope that. You're so gross. I feel like I'm If you honestly believed that and you don't, if you did, you say, look, I'm not going to, it's not my place to say everything. I wish the best for Janelle. That's all you had to say, but you're not a good person. You're a disgusting person. <laughs> and you're I laughing. Unmask the children. That's great. Unmask your children. I don't give a fuck. I thought you guys cared. You said you said everybody in your house is really COVID careful and they don't want to be around it and they're very, but now you don't care? Okay. Why do you contradict yourself every other word that you say? It's actually impressive. Spill the tea. They're all saying spill it. 
You put your priorities in the right place by protecting your family. And it was hard. Oh. <laughs> you put your priorities in the right place by protecting your family. Oops. Except for, you know, the whole exploitation of them online for their lives. Yeah, except for that big, you know, glaring thing. Sure. I, but no, even then not. She doesn't protect her kids at all. Because she was really <sighs> such a good friend. Like, I do miss her. But her, she turned into something. I thought you were done talking about it. You just said you were done. Mm -hmm. And she even said this in one of her videos. She surrounded herself around people who are making poor choices. Like you, you make poor choices. You are a poor decision maker. So it goes without saying, yeah, she does because you're there. Like she even says this. Stop saying your feelings are veiled. Stay strong. <laughs> and it was just sad to watch. It's like, you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. But at that point, it's like my kids being is around things like there is things with her little and she's going to do it again. She's, she just said she was done with it. She wishes nothing but the best, but she said she was done and now she's going to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> there's more. Oh, is there? Okay. I'm going to regret that. Yeah, you are. You're going to regret that big time. Big time. What you just said, again, if this was against another creator, me, whatever, you want to talk to me or whatever, I, I'm fair game. Janelle's not fair game and specifically Janelle's children are absolutely not fair game considering she was Lilia's best friend. So you say, so your, your little daughter's best friend one day is going to watch this and you're going to be able to say, well, you know, and you're going to talk shit about her little best friend, a 10 year old. You're talking shit about a 10 year old. <sighs> you need Jesus. And why did she show up to Chris's birthday? Spill that tea, bestie. Party, but nothing else. I'm telling you, there's more. I promise you, there's more. This one says, I think it's okay to grow apart, especially when that other person is doing things and making bad choices. You mean like Jess fam makes terrible shit ass choices too? Look, no one's without blame in probably any of this. I'm sure Janelle would probably take blame for some of this. And she, sounds like Janelle has more, you know, has her head on more than she does. But Jess fam makes absolutely disgusting, terrible decisions. So you're dumb. <laughs> I'm sure, I hope someone's recording that. Yeah, I'm sure someone is. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. It's they, gonna be all out there now. They did. Oh. You fucking got out. Okay, I'm just saying when y'all when when people start coming at me left and right for saying this, I hope y'all are gonna be backing me up in those comments because you fuck them. So she wants her stands to come in videos like mine and go after Janelle, which they did, by the way. Janelle posted on her Instagram the people that came after her, and Janelle would call them. And they wouldn't take her call. I guess one of them did. And then she had a 55 minute conversation and turned their, changed their mind because Janelle told them the truth is what I think. But Jess fam, Janelle isn't a creator. She's not someone you could send your fans after. This is inappropriate. You can send your fans over here. I'd love to talk to them, but you're disgusting. I hope you know, I'm going to spill all this. So you guys better get in there and do your thing. That's against YouTube's terms of service too. You told me to talk about it. Yeah, but you're an adult and you can make your own decisions, right? Or no, I don't know. Look at Annie Elise. Annie, Anna Elias says, did she try to get with Chris? Well, why? Have you seen Chris? He's a potato. So, yeah. Cade Lady says, if you stayed in the friendship, you're condoning the behavior. You just can't. So I'm going to make the same argument. If you watch Jess fam, you're condoning the behavior of exploitation of children. So you said it, dummy. We got you, girl. How are you going to get her? Don't save the life. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> okay. Don't save it, Jess. We got it, though. You stayed in a friendship. You're condoning the behavior. I know, and it, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> they got your back. I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And again, I'm like not, I'm not perfect. Like, I'm sure that there's shit. No, you are not. You're a zero. You're not even good. Like, you're bad. There's no, you don't approach perfect. You are terrible. There's nothing good about you. Again, no redeeming qualities about you, Jess fam. None. You're sitting here throwing a 10 year old under the bus. That's not your kid. That's your kid's best friend. You're going to like, again, of all the things we talk about. Sure. Even if you know, you weren't a big giant creator, you want to talk shit about your friends, people do it. Okay. But you're talking shit about a kid and that's, you've known to do that. Remember the teenagers I interviewed? Yeah, we get it. We know who you are. That she fucking, I'm sure. But it was just, it was, the thing is, is that I don't. Mm. 
one day she might come around and thank you. <laughs> okay. I don't even think she knows. Fully. I love these comments. You're so beautiful. Well, that's the filter. Just doesn't look like that. That's a filter. Full on, full blast filter. What a time to be alive. You can put a filter on that literally changes who you look like. It'll put makeup on for you, fatten your eyelashes, make your nose smaller and everything. Filters. And this is accepted, widely accepted as okay. <laughs> Again, I can't, when I see Jess being a douche like this, I can't unsee her being that girl from the help. The redhead. She looks just like a dude and she's, she is her. Like she, that girl looked at Jess fam for her character. <laughs> Wait, did you say the threesome was with Rosalind? No. Ew. That, the fact that these people know that and will ask questions like that? Ew. Oh, the fun of being an adult. I know. You're not an adult. You, is this what adulting is? Is this it? Because, man, man, I missed it. I don't talk shit about my friends or ex-friends like this. I just move on. I don't know if I have a lot of ex-friends, but... What's the point of this? To, again, does this make you feel better? Because if it does, you check your heart. I know. What does Chris think about this? It's funny, because she actually said one of her lives. Dark Venus writes, Someone comes for you, they're going to catch the smoke. I'm real scared of you with your avatar from some cartoon. Like, oh, me and Chris get along great. Like, her, they did. But the, I have a whole, I mean, I got receipts. I'm not going to do it, because it doesn't matter. Why not? You're doing it here. Like, it doesn't, it really doesn't fucking matter. But, like, they went into great detail about shit. Like, she would come over and smoke cigarettes and leave them all over our yard for my kids to pick up. And they and my kids don't know what that is. Like they don't. They don't know what a cigarette butt is. Okay. No, and no shade. Like you're gonna live your life, whatever. If you no shade, but I'm shading you. Smoke. I don't care. You do care. But like to come over to our house and leave it everywhere. And so Chris actually. You're you're saying you're so close to this girl Janelle. You're so close to her. Let me just tell her, hey Janelle, don't leave your like. I, if my friend was doing, I'd be like, dude, no, you're not leaving your shit. I'm like, pick your cigarette butts up, a hole. That's what I'd say. And we like, we would still be friends. So just have a conversation with somebody. Instead, you hold on to it so you can talk behind her back. That's who you really are. Like kind of got into a fight with her about like, bro, this isn't cool. Like you can't come over to our house and just like leave this. Can someone type what's happening? I'm listening with no volume. <laughs> That's a just fam stand right there. Crystal follows her. Honestly, I still followed her until she blocked me. So I don't even, I, I guess I automatically stopped following her when she blocked me. What happened? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I was like, what's happening? What's happening? That's what I was like. I don't even want to bring attention to it. If you know, you know. I don't want to bring it. Are you got <laughs> you hearing yourself? <laughs> if you don't, you don't need to. It's not, it's really not that fucking important. It's just like people who. Yeah, you're doing a 40 minute live on it. Who, ask like the, i get so many questions and i hope that answered your guys's questions because there's yeah what questions do people have hey is janelle a total piece of shit yeah let me tell y'all about it that's the question they had i don't understand what questions were people having why you guys i think jess is fall, is answering why they had a falling out right it's cigarette butts or it's covid and then you can just literally call her on her own shit the exact same shit she does I'm pretty sure she blocked everyone that was following you. Maybe I'm just special. And I really didn't want, like, I th I wish she would have just, if she would have never said anything to begin with, people wouldn't even know. And then I wouldn't feel the need to, like, defend myself. I'm not aware that Janelle said anything worth defending. I could be wrong, and I'm happy to be corrected. But did Janelle come out and do a video like this, like you're doing? Calling you out for all your bad behaviors? Did I? Because if <laughs> I missed it, and I would have done a video on it. So what did she say? I feel like it's not, yeah. I don't know. People are trying to convince her to get drunk. I think you need some liquid courage. They want her to get drunk so she spills more tea. It's what these people live for. They don't care about you or Janelle. They just... They, they, ugh. I wish we could have just left it at COVID brought us away from each other, which was partially true. And not have to get into the nitty gritty... No, what? No, no. Something else happened. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Details of it. But in reality, it was a lot more. And it really stemmed from... My daughter's relationship with her daughter and the Espresso Patronus writes, the songs her daughter dances to on TikTok is so inappropriate. Have you seen any of Jess Fam's content whatsoever? Any of it? Again, this is your tribe. You attract who you are. Enough said. Friends that she was around and I was not okay with my daughter being around that. And Lilia was not okay with it either. 
Sophia's like, go to bed before this starts drama. Too late. She said that you guys... <laughs> she said... Did she really say Talia was the reason I finch mentioned it? Because she's... If I don't think she said that, because I would have I would have been on that. I would have done a video on that. <laughs> That's the biggest... Again, Annie at least keeps saying, I feel like she wanted to get with Chris. Hey, Anna, are you trying to get with Chris or something? Again, have you seen him? I know I'm not the bastion of glorious handsomeness or anything, but have you seen that guy? Just wondering if your eyes need glasses or something. Sack of shit I've ever heard. She did. She didn't like Rosalind. Well, what did she just and say? So there? Some of sack of shit. Guys, <laughs> she said, "Did she really say Talia was the reason I French mentioned it? Because she's <laughs> that's the biggest sack of shit I've ever heard." She, that's the biggest sack of shit I've ever heard. Okay. She did. She didn't like Rosalind. Who does like Rosalind? Have you seen Rosalind's videos? Nobody likes Rosalind. Rosalind doesn't even like Rosalind. Rosalind's like ew. And so when I started hanging out with Rosalyn, and it's not that she didn't like her, she just, I think she felt threatened by her because I would hang out with Rosalyn because Rosalyn actually, like, was a mom. Wanted to do a YouTube channel. Mom. What? And enjoyed hanging out with her children. She's low-key saying Janelle is not a good mom and doesn't like hanging out with her children. She's saying that openly. This is what she's saying, everybody. And so I, I brought Rosalyn on one family trip with me and... I, because I didn't bring Janelle and Alina and didn't pay for them to go on this one trip. She like, that's when she lost it. She texted me. Wow. Have fun. When she saw that I went on a trip with Rosalind and I said, thank you so much. I'm sure there's more to it than that. We'll find out. Like we're going to have a lot of fun, like not being mean. And she was like, yeah, with your new best friend. Like it was, there's some, I, I'm well, if you, okay. So why don't you just be like, Hey, look, I'm really sorry I hurt you. Cause we've been friends for 15 years. It's more important that we talk about this as adults. Really sorry. I didn't mean for it to hurt you like that. And she's just like, Oh, and well, I hate you forever. Jess fam. Again, there's you, if you need any more proof of Jess fam's burning of bridges, this is it. If you cross Jess fam and do something she doesn't like, she will burn that bridge. When you are no longer useful to her, you, she will burn the shit out of that bridge. I'm telling you guys, it, it got pretty nasty. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm better than you. Do you know who I am? I'm Jess fam. It's on my wall. Don't you ever say shit. People just assume that it was Talia because Talia moved here. And Talia is way, she, Talia is way too nice. I, it actually makes me, I did want to. I found some stuff out about Talia. Just so you guys are aware. That'll come out. Address that because people try to pull Talia into this and it's like, she's like the coolest fucking human being on this planet. She has nothing to do with this. Have you ever met other human beings before? Really? Have you ever met anybody else? Okay. He's the coolest human being on the world. <laughs> you met Chris Pratt? You know, pretty sure he's cooler. It was the timing of her coming here and the timing and people wanted to assume it was her and it had nothing to do with her at all. Okay. I'm digging myself deeper. I know. Yeah, I'll keep going. Oh. Loving it. See, I'm not here for the tea. I'm here to call you out for your bullshit hypocrisy. Everybody else wants to hear the tea because they know this is going to start drama, which it already has. And I think Jess fam is doing this on purpose because Jess fam view counts are like in the hole and she needs something, but this is this flash in the pan might get you a boost, but it won't keep the boost. I've, I've realized in the end for my, you know, tits and tats with other creators and stuff like that. Nobody likes it at the minute. You've got a few people who are into the tea, but they don't like the tit for tat. They'll leave because they don't want it. That's something in the long run. You will not keep subscribers or followers. If you're going to go tit for tat for other people. So I just don't want to do it anymore. Um, depends. If you come after my family, then it's different. But you're right. The t the tit for tat shit nobody likes. They will not. They will not continue to watch, and you will not keep. You will not keep growing, and you will not keep the engaged followers who are following you for the reasons that you started. <laughs> I feel like we're all BFS. <laughs> I told you guys I was bad. I shouldn't have. I should have. I should have shut up. But hopefully, people will stop asking. No, you can't shut up. You're bad at shutting up. You know, like. I just want people to stop asking. And like, I feel like she, I would have never talked about it if she didn't keep fucking bringing it up. And it's like, okay, if you're going to keep talking about it, then I'll tell you what I got to say. Again, I missed it. Damn. What did Janelle say? Someone sent me that video. Like, that's a big deal. Why? How did I miss that? And again, there's more, but I think that's enough. I don't I'm need sure. to. You all the receipts, Jess, right? You're such an amazing person. You have way more to lose than Janelle, by the way. But Janelle actually has a lot to lose. She's a nurse. She's registered. She has a job. That's her livelihood. Your shit, you'll lose a few fans. But she, you can de really be detrimental to her career and her life. And she's a civilian. She's not someone who can just 
go to Disney and make a million dollars. You're gross for doing this. Air all of her dirty laundry. I'm not here to air all of her laundry. Just half of it. That's that's why I stopped. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. She's such a dumbass. <laughs> and you didn't leave it at that. It's still 15 damn minutes of this video. <laughs> what happened with Karen? Nothing. I just don't see her. I don't know who that is. Ever feel like people try to get close to you for your status? Sunkiss butt crack intensifies. You think? <laughs> then another person tried to do it in Nashville and tried to get their channel exploding because of it. Didn't work. Sunkiss mama got lucky for some reason. But yeah, they do it. <laughs> and we I should go over that video. There's it's hypocrisy. <laughs> I can't imagine how people ask the same things over and over. I, yeah, I know. But it you know what? It comes with it comes with the job. Like I, job. I as annoying as it is as a human being, like Julia Sergio. Does Chris work? Chris sits on his ass and plays video games all day. That's what he does. Fair enough. And I, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want... I really like her. Like, I really do. Sounds like it. So I didn't want to have to say it, but it's just like... I don't know. She forced my hand. I mean, you could have just been an adult. Shut your mouth about it. Lots of people make videos about me. I don't say anything about them. Some I do, but I mostly just ignore them. That's... I'm learning. I'm going to keep doing it, but you could have just done that. Maybe. I don't know. It gets to a point where it's like, she keeps talking about it. And it's like, okay, then let me say my two cents. And again, I'm not perfect. Like if I'm sure she's, Oh yeah. That's just why I, that was my end. I'm sure she's what she never finishes the sentence. She's going to say something. She's like, Oh shit. Okay. The dad challenge channel spill, please. Yeah. I hope she says something about that. I appreciate you guys. I really do. I <laughs> Thanks for listening to my gossip. You're amazing. Love you guys. You really want people like that in your life? Who just want to come listen to your tea and tear people down? Especially 10-year-old kids. You really want... Are those people good? They're people, those people are nasty. I just hope when everyone... When the shit gets twisted. <laughs> you, guys, you guys better have my black. <laughs> Be like, no. We want her to tell us. <clears throat> You're living your best life, girl. And that's okay. People grow apart. Oh, I stopped reading for a minute. I don't even know if I want to go back. You can't read. There's a dude commenting. My wife and I love you. Really? Guys watch this shit? You're weird, dude. Wait, she said I blocked her? What the fuck? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Do you feel like you're too nice and people like use it against you? <laughs> it's just look nice to you. Wow. After watching this for 20 minutes, you think Jess is nice? Okay. Okay. Sounds like you're dumb. Sorry, I'm reading, guys. It's Bridget Ryan writes, she claims she has such a good relationship with her daughter. Like, what? Who the f Who are you? These people, are. they have got to be the loneliest, most grossest people on earth. Just coming after people like that. Oh. Look, I come after bad moms. Yeah, the relationship shit, that's terrible. But that is, again, Janelle is not somebody that you guys should be coming after. She's not a creator, not an influencer. It's not her job. I don't even know Janelle. But you just don't say this stuff. Is just don't leave this off. Leave the stuff about the kids off. The, leave the kids alone. Again, even at, at some level, you want to come after Janelle, whatever. If she's coming after you, sure. Okay. But why are you putting the kids in this situation? You are just... Uh, 10-year-olds should not be smoking. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You know what else 10-year-olds shouldn't be doing? Is be putting their whole lives on the YouTube, on the internet. That's what they also shouldn't be doing. I'd almost say that smoking is just as bad. I'd almost say that it's a little bit worse. Like smoking, you can quit. You can get your kids some help, whatever, right? But the, the putting their privacy out there for the entire world to see and parasocial relationships and the dangers, you can't undo that. My fiance, Bran, asked to hang out with Chris. Are you sure? Again, have you seen the guy? This lazy douche who plays video games all day while his wife exploits their children and his two children, not even hers, for money. So he can do nothing. And they flex about it like, my husband retired early. <laughs> Look how lazy we are. Okay. That's a winner. Winner, winner. Chris is dumb. Look, wait, her daughter smoked? Everybody's talking about it now. <laughs> not their business. I know. She make a club jazz where it's private. <laughs> Like, I literally just want to be friends with you guys. <laughs> sure you do. Well, maybe she does, because she, she loves the stalkers. 
10 year olds should be playing with babies. I mean, I think she means dolls, but yeah, I agree with you. They shouldn't be on the internet either, right? Look, they're all calling it out now. Her daughter smoked, smoked, smoked. They're all like, what, what, what? Why did you put that out there, Jess? That can't be unput out there anymore. I love that. It, uh, there is not. These people are like, some of her daughter's TikToks are questionable for her age. Have you, again, have you seen any content Jess has put out, especially with her oldest daughter? What? You guys are so hypocritical. Like, uh, <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome how hypocritical you guys are. This is creepy. Again, it's Jen says, my daughter went to the same preschool as your daughter. We love you. Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Because just told you the fact that you know the preschool she went to. And these people, this is what a parasocial relationship is. She's like, oh, we're that's our connection. We should be friends. I don't know if her daughter did, but all of, the do all of her friends that she was hanging out with said that they did, according to Lilia. Okay, so you don't even know she did, but you just put that on the internet with your millions of followers. So you don't even have any proof that she did, but Lilia said that her friends were. So it sounds like the daughter said that my friends smoke, but you don't even have any proof of any of that. And you're just going to put that on the internet of a minor. Oh my gosh. This keeps getting worse. How did the child? Okay. So I don't know if I should keep going. No, you should. not The child that had access to that stuff, it was, it was a family that I knew. It was actually the family that lived next door to my mom growing up. Like, I grew up with them. And their whole family is, like, not their whole family, but they have, like, they're, like, gang-related and stuff. What? Are you... What? You're saying that Janelle is connected to gang members? So, like, the whole family is... You just said not the whole family, but then you said the whole family. The whole family is a gang? Okay. Oh, my gosh, Jess. What are you saying? And if they were, are you dumb? Amalex writes, Jess, I think you need to stop. You should take your fans' advice, Jess. You are way in too deep now. Yeah, her, fan, her fans are trying to say, Jess, stop, stop. You can tell she's getting uncomfortable. Anyway, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways, let's move on. I think people are telling me to stop. It's fun. <clears throat> Was that fun? Was it fun, Jess? So fun. What's your favorite makeup brand? Your makeup always looks nice. The makeup brand is this Instagram filter that I put on. Have I, oh no, I already answered that one. Favorite, I love your voices. Can I come hang out with you sometime? Please, please do. No, don't. You don't know who that person is. She could be a murderer. Now they're all saying Lily has smoked weed. They're all coming. They don't even know what they're talking about anymore. No. The camera, <laughs> I always get comments on the cameras behind me. That's and creepy. they're up all the time. That's creepy. I'm it's like they're in their rooms and shit. Dizzy's magical and I'm 24. I Right? Like, same. I agree. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Good night. Bye. Okay. Okay. So, the reason I uncovered this is because I hate Jess fan, but also because of this. So, I spoke to Janelle on the phone for about an hour. Um, and, again, a lot of people are like, oh, you're just trying to dig for tea. You're just trying to, you know what? Sort of. But at the same time, um, when I started talking to Janelle, I started actually realizing how effing heartbroken she really is in real life like she is so heartbroken over what Jess did so i'm not here to just like you should get back at her and i told janelle this and i'm, I'm letting her breathe letting her take a couple of days to think about what she wants to do <clears throat> i've made my platform available to her but i've given her some advice and we're going to talk about it we're going to go i've given her some questions that she needs to answer that she wants if she wants she can answer um but she absolutely has a right to defend herself jess fam is sitting here in front of her millions of fans saying i'm doing this to defend myself well janelle doesn't have an audience like that so it's really disproportionate i don't even have an audience like that but i have a bigger audience and so i'm allowing her to use it but i don't janelle even told me she said i want it to be a big bash fest it's not what i want to do i just want to set the record straight i want to defend myself and I think she has the right to do that. And she does have information that we all need because if Jess is going to sit there and be a complete and upper and, and going to call Janelle out for Janelle's supposed bad behavior and all the tea and all the receipts she has, Janelle gets to do the same thing. But when I was speaking with Janelle, I started realizing she's kind of like just a chill, laid back, cool person. It's Jess fam. You know, Jess fam is the drama. Jess fam is the one who loves confrontation who gets in fights at Panda Express and records the conversations with her teacher when her kid got sent home and it was angry. Jess fam is the one, there's a, there's a common denominator in Jess fam's world of the asshole and it's Jess fam. Every single time. 
After speaking with Janelle and seeing her heartbreak, and she was heartbroken, guys. I'm not kidding. They were friends for years and years and years. Their kids were best friends. Janelle wasn't sitting there like, oh, I hate Jess Fan for saying all this. She was like, I'm just so effing. She just, she looks and sounds defeated. Jess defeated her. And that's what Jess was going for. She wanted to tear her down. She wanted to scare her. She wanted to send her fans after her. And she wanted to destroy her when Janelle wasn't trying to do any of that stuff. So it might not happen. And I hope Janelle comes around. And I, I do believe that Janelle has her head on straight. You know, everybody's not without their problems. But at the same time, it's none of any of our business. Because Janelle isn't someone that's exploiting her children online for money. It's not who I'm coming after. So I will give Janelle the opportunity to set the record straight. To tell everybody the truth. Her truth now. Because Jess spilled all that shit about minors too. Which is disgusting. Okay, and so, you know, I encourage Janelle, and we're hopefully going to connect. So that's what's going on. Jess fam, I didn't even watch that video, and people were like, you should reach out to Janelle, reach out to Janelle, it's a crazy live. So I reached out to Janelle before I even watched this video, because I know that Jess fam is that way. And after watching the video, I absolutely see why Janelle feels defeated. Why she feels she has no voice. Because in this game that Jess, Jess is playing, she doesn't really have a voice. This is like a, this is a David and Goliath situation as cheesy as, as cliche as that sounds. Janelle is David here and Jess fam is the Goliath with a massive following of people who are dumb and who will go to the depths to protect her for some weird reason. Janelle doesn't have that same thing. This is not fair. Pick on someone your own size, Jess. Okay. You're gross. So that's probably what's coming down the pipe. And I hope so because Jess fam needs to call it out like she did with the teenagers. This is not Okay. In the end, it's really not about the exploitation either. It's just about Jess using her platform to hurt somebody. That is really scary and that's gross. Even your fans, Jess, should know that. And even you could see in the chat, it started changing. When she started changing the topic, people were like, go to bed, Jess. Stop talking about this, Jess. You should go now. You should go. When you see all those comments start popping up, you start realizing, oh shit, I went too far. Jess, you went way too far with that. There was no reason to say half the shit you said in there. And especially if Janelle actually didn't say the things that you said she did. And I will ask Janelle that. And I'll ask her honest thing. What did you say? And I'll, if the live is available somewhere, I will watch it. I'm again, I don't, and Janelle even told me she's not without blame either. Like Jess is saying, she's like, look, I know I'm not perfect, but there was no reason for Jess to do that. None. She destroyed my whole world in a 30 minute live. That's gross. And you should feel ashamed of yourself, Jess. Just ew. So it is really sad, but take a deep breath me, everybody. You're going to need it. You know, and I'm glad that finally Jess is being called out for her behavior. And it's, and I don't understand Jess's end game here. You're going to call someone out who knows all your deepest, darkest secrets. Are you dumb? Well, yes. The answer is yes. But you guys who are here, you're not, you're amazing. You're incredible and valuable. Don't you ever forget it. And don't let your friends talk about, talk shit like this about your kids. <laughs> okay. Just don't let that. It's about you, whatever, but about your kids, protect your kids. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>